Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the thanks button. And a happy Memorial Day to all of you out there as we remember the ultimate sacrifice made by so many of our military over the years. And that's why I thought I'd talk about my favorite cemeteries around town. People often wonder about me and they get a little worried when I say, they go, where are you at? I go, well, I'm wandering a cemetery. And you feel all right? Yeah, I'm good. I don't see cemeteries as final destinations or unhappy places. I see them often as stories of people who did amazing things. And so number one cemetery in town, of course, has to be Arlington National Cemetery. About 400,000 soldiers over the years. Soldiers from every war in our country's history, including the Revolutionary War, are buried there. Um, I, you know, I know everybody likes to go to the Eternal Flame to see Kennedy. Uh, and they also like to go to the Changing of the Guard, which is every 30 minutes during the day. And I recommend you go see that too. But what I do recommend is get off the beaten path and go wander that cemetery, especially the back. Once you're done with the change of the guard, just head to the back and you'll just see a lot of unusual uh, monuments to people, some interesting stories, uh, and you know, just kind of go around the cemetery that way. I really enjoy Arlington. And if you have mobility issues, they do have a tram who will take you throughout the cemetery too. And you can get off anywhere you want and catch the next tram back. So you can do that. Uh, second, I like Oak Hill a lot, just above Georgetown. You know, it's an old, old cemetery there. You know, our old friend Glenn Brenner is buried there, right next to Edwin Stanton, who was Lincoln's Secretary of War. I mean, there's all kinds of people of different generations in Washington. A little tough to walk up and down the hills, watch your footing there, but it's a nice one. Uh, number three, Rock Creek Cemetery. Um, you know, it has all kinds of famous Washingtonians too. Uh, so it's always cool to see that. Uh, just different stuff, different stuff more than anything. And, uh, finally, congressional, you know, for the Congress, someone couldn't make it back home to be buried. That's really a cool place too. And especially in the spring when everything's flowering. Wow. It's great. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon. Have a good Memorial Day.